This video is a quick short exposition on all you need to know about your trickle speed, your boost speed, your humidity smart and your timer smart when commissioning the Greenwood AirVac continuous running bathroom and kitchen extractor fan. So first we turn on the light switch which enables power to the extract fan or DMEV and then subsequently turn on the isolator switch from its off isolate or cut off position to its on or enabled position to get power to the extractor fan. The next step would be to get off you know the cover plate by turning the cover plate in the anti-clockwise orientation or direction. Once opened press any of them buttons to highlight the current setting. And once I press on any of them buttons, take cognizance of the LEDs that illuminate. So I've got the bathroom, the booster speed, the humidity smart and the humidity timer. So this is the current setting. When I turn off the light switch, the boost speed of the extractor fan toggles to the trickle speed. And when I turn the light switch back on, the trickle speed toggles back onto the boost speed setting and the toggle between the boost and the trickle speed settings is also evident in the sound pitch. The trickle speed, a much more quieter sound than the boost speed. For the bathroom. To reactivate the commissioning mode, press and hold the minus and plus buttons simultaneously for about three seconds until the bathroom and kitchen lights flash. We are in the bathroom, so select the bathroom as the appropriate installation location. Whilst both room selection lights are flashing, the boost speed light should now start to flash. To adjust the airflow, press the minus and plus buttons to the required level. If you press on the plus button more, you get an increased boost speed and airflow performance. Whilst the minus button decreases the boost speed. Suffice to say, Pressing the plus button on the smart pad increases the boost speed with an increased audible sound. And once we've confirmed the audible pitch and the boost speed, we press on the boost button to confirm and the boost light should show as solid. The trickle speed light should now start to flash. Adjust the airflow by pressing on the minus and plus buttons to the required level. Bespoke to your requirements. Do note that the trickle speed cannot be higher than the boost speed, so use a slightly lo lower setting. Once you've tailored the speed to your lifestyle, press the trickle button to confirm, and the trickle light should show as solid. Do note that the boost button and the trickle button are solid green at this stage. The flickering or continuous flashing is due to a strobe effect, okay? They are definitely solid green, so please do ignore that, okay? To activate the Humidity Smart, press on the button. The light should come on to indicate that the function is active. And replicate the process for the Timer Smart. The light should come on as well to indicate that, you know, the function is, is active as well. Just tap them on if they aren't on already. The Humidity Smart differs from your traditional humidity sensing as it doesn't require an activation point to boost the fan, but rather it is quite sensitive to humidity and will react only when a man-made spike in humidity levels is created and as such ensures optimal ventilation in your home. It also uses the actual installed environment to boost ventilation in conjunction with humidity sensing. This type of humidity sensing distinguishes between ambient and man-made humidity and as such will not just activate for no reason, you know for example during a hot humid summer evening. Suffice to say it mitigates unnecessary nuisance running of the extractor fan. Whilst the timer smart, you know, provides a way of ensuring that ventilation is delivered effectively to your home. It utilizes the duration of occupancy, so for example in your bathroom, to determine the length of time the fan overruns in boost mode. 
as opposed to a preset generic time of say 15 to 20 minutes. So if you spend 10 minutes in the bathroom, it will overrun on boost for another 10 minutes when using the timer smart. So it basically helps to reduce nuisance noise and running or necessary heat loss. It keeps the energy performance as low as possible. Also note that to reset the unit to factory settings and to revert to both the room's selection lights at the start of the commissioning mode, you press the minus and plus buttons for about 10 seconds instead of 3 seconds as earlier highlighted. Pressing any of them buttons shows the current settings and you can see this, this is what we've programmed into the unit. And once done, place the cover back onto the unit and turn clockwise to secure the cover onto the extractor fan. There are instances where your boost speed is controlled by a standalone fan boost switch as opposed to your conventional light switch. If the fan boost switch is switched off which controls the boost speed and then I proceed to switch on the isolator switch. The extractor fan remains in the trickle setting mode. And here you can see that the isolator fan has got power isolated or deactivated. And so if I proceed to switch on the isolator, a number of green LED green lights illuminates on the smart part that highlights that the programming at this point is in the trickle setting or trickle speed, which is a much quieter speed. If I then proceed to switch on the fan boost switch, the trickle setting speed toggles to the boost speed mode. And as soon as I hit the fan boost switch, you can almost hear an increased audible boost speed sound. And when I click on any of the buttons on the smart part, it shows me the current setting, which is the boost speed mode, okay? And that's because the fan boost switch has been activated. So when I switch on, it goes to the boost speed mode. And when I switch off, it goes to the trickle speed setting. Here, I will switch on the fan boost switch to activate the boost speed in the extractor fan, which is installed in the kitchen with a rated ingress protection of five. And then switch off the fan boost to save on energy and to get the extractor fan back into its trickle setting mode. You can see that the fan boost is off, so it leaves the trickle setting on. And if I switch off the isolator switch, you know, it deactivates the trickle setting here. And you can see that the fan stops spinning. And if I click on any of the buttons, you know, no LED illuminates. But if I switch back on the isolator switch, you know, it goes back into the trickle setting and the fan begins to speed at trickle speed. OK, you can see it's evident that, you know, the setting or program at this point in time is the trickle setting, which constitutes a quiet low speed. Sometimes you don't even hear the sound. OK, but, you know, at the background, it still works to get all of the um, humidity or steam out of your kitchen. You know, I'm pretty much done. I don't have any need for the boost fan, so I'll just couple the cover back on. And that's about it really. If you found the information useful, don't forget to subscribe, like and share, help the channel grow and hopefully catch up with you later. Goodbye.